Welcome back, everybody. This is another episode of Teacher Tech Tactics. We're actually getting into Great Minds today. Great Minds is basically a digital program you could use with your students. It's going to help them understand the Eureka modules a lot better, and it targets uh, skills that they definitely need to actually understand what's going on in the module. So it's a lot better than Khan Academy. We're going to get into app integration as well as how to navigate and the power of the equip button and most of all what the kids are going to see on their end so let's get started all right so great minds is already a district app here so if the students go to more apps down at the bottom they could get it or you can add it as an app inside your own folder you would click your folder click the add button go to add app go to search type in great and it should come up with the district tab on it, add great minds, and there it is. You can add it because it definitely will be something the students will be using a lot more. And this is basically how the program commences. Okay, so here is the landing page for great minds and it works basically in a very simple fashion, okay? It's grade, then module, then topic, then lesson exactly how it looks in the Eureka books. It's just in this weird kind of Google Classroom format where you just have to keep pressing this arrow down at the side. Uh, they could make it a little bit better and easier, but there's a reason to it and I understand. So uh, to begin, just make sure you're in Eureka Math and make sure that you're on the correct grade. So I'm picking five because that's my grade. And once you do, it shows you exactly all the things that are for there as well as the modules. You again, just look at the dark subheadings to navigate the page and it's pretty simple. So we're gonna click this guy down the side, module. We have the topics. And below that we have the lessons and that's how you get to the lessons, okay? So basically at this point, you kinda wanna look at those arrows and you also want to look at the icons. If you see this icon right here, it usually means it's 100% digital. I'm going to say that again. It's 100% digital. Over here, you have the little paper clip. So that means it's semi-digital and semi-print. You're given both options. If you see a little triangle, it's probably a video. And if you see this, this is going to bring you to an outside web page that kind of just explains exactly the format of the lesson and how you are to break up the activities for that day. Okay, so the equip option is basically a support system used throughout Eureka to target different skills the students need as prerequisites before they can actually do the module, which is very helpful and Khan Academy did not have that at all. So uh, you're gonna head to your grade, again, following the protocol, module, and then it should be the very first thing. So it gives the students a pre-assessment. It could be digital, 100%, or it could be um, a print from a PDF. If you see these icons, this one means for students, and this one means for Spanish available resources. That's only on the print side, not the digital side. So there are fully digital, half digital, and fully print materials. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But again, with equip, each one of them, for them to do any content supporting A, that means topic A over here. Multiplicative patterns of the place value chart, if they don't understand this, they're missing one of the prerequisite pillars that they need to actually understand. And this one basically shows them all the different lessons that they need to know. So these are the activities and the things that they have to get down to mastery before they're actually able to go any further with this module. So this is very helpful and you could definitely, it breaks it down for every single module and it also breaks it down for every single uh, content. So content is for the topic. So I would use content B for uh, lessons that I'm teaching in topic B. I would use content C for all the topic C things right here, and so on and so on and so forth. Basically, every single module has this at the very beginning. So you can give it as a pre-module assessment before you begin, 
and everything is basically at your fingertips before you go any further. Okay, so assigning assignments in the lessons is exactly the same. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna follow the same exact thing, grade, module, topic, lesson. Just look at the dark bolded subtitles, subheading, excuse me, and we would get that. Grade, scroll down to the correct module you want. You would pass equip, you would pick the topic, and then we would go over to the lesson. It's the same exact thing. So over here, you could give them a video, basically, of what is going on. It's even available in Spanish. There's learn, practice, and then succeed. Even though they're printed copies, you're actually also given the option to give it digitally. So if I go to learn, again, it gives me the pages straight out of the Eureka book, starting with the application problem, the problem set, and the homework and exit ticket, okay? And at this point, you can literally go to assign. You choose the students you wanna give it to, if they're in quarantine or anything like that, or the whole class is under quarantine, you would go to yes, complete online, and the students would have to do that. So we're gonna just give it to one student for the video. And then click that to make it go back up. Yes, complete online, any extra directions. Okay, and then we just go to assign and that student would see it. Now, the next part is the practice. Practice holds all of your, <clears throat> all of the sprints and any extra little worksheets that go along with it. So this little chart sheet, you could literally print out, put it in a sheet protector and the students can write on you know, dry erase markers or something. So then there's that and succeed. And the succeed is basically the homework helper. Tells them exactly what to do from soup to nuts. And then they can go into it, the actual program. So you could download this, print this out as a PDF because we don't have the books yet. Um, but you could also do that or you could go to assign and assign digitally the homework as well. And the student could complete it. So we're gonna see what the student sees on their end when they actually log into the program. Let's get started with that. Okay, so we're logging in as a student right now. We would tell the student to go to Clever. They would log in with their 365. Okay, once they log in, they're gonna see the teacher page. They would go to the teacher page and it should be the very fourth option or wherever you put it. They click Great Minds and they have their own learning landing page. Their name should be up in the top corner and these are basically a list of different things that they have. Now, before we go to find, we have reports which basically has any kind of grade that was given to the student through the uh, digital portions of it or any grades that you decide to give the students will show up here based on the assignments they've completed or have not completed. Next, we have the tools. The tools, we can hit agree. It makes a brand new page. Math reports is still here, okay? Uh, it gives them a bunch of virtual manipulatives and the students could click any one of these and kind of go through it. It jumps around, there's digital place value charts. They can make shapes, they have place value uh, disks and they even have algebra tiles. So you could kind of break this up the way you want, however you want to touch on. You could kind of give them this and tell them which one of these virtual manipulatives they could use at home to kind of show their thinking concretely before they uh, start solving problems abstractly. Finally, we have the find. The find button, basically, they can pull up any one of the resources at all at their disposal. So right now it's on pre-kindergarten. We can click all the way over to grade five, but here is the caveat with this. They can't just choose anything, click it, and start lesson one, because that's what we said we were gonna do, and it says to do. But if they were to choose something else, they would automatically have to download it. They could not complete the assignment here within it. 
So let's go back for a second and we're gonna go to to do. Over here, this is the assignment that I had assigned the student. They're gonna choose it. And now they're given that little toolbox. We didn't have that before. Here, they can move with their hand. When they answer this question, they can press the text box when they have to do the right portion. This is the draw portion. They could write with their finger how to solve the problem and it stays on the page and you can see that they can verbalize their thinking. Down at the bottom, they have this, the uh, actual an actual space to actually write. So it gives them more than enough. I mean, they could highlight. This helps them with the read part. This helps them with the draw piece and the text would be the right. So read, write, draw. You could choose the sizes of what they want and they could just type it on in. It's very simple to use and the students actually would really like it and get a kick out of it, especially if they're home uh, the entire time, whether they're in quarantine or something like that. It wouldn't be something I would just give all the time. I think they should write in a notebook. Um, but yeah, this is super helpful and the students, once they are fully completed with the pages that you assigned that they were to complete, they can press done. And when you press yes, you've completed your assignment and it'll send it to the teacher. Okay, so here we are, we're back to the teacher landing page. So at this point, you could pick the three arrows over here and you can see that the check mark means assignments and the text boxes and documents mean resources where you pull information from and this is where you can grade what you've done so far. So we're gonna go to assignments and that assignment that we just gave to that student, notice the status is closed because that student sent it to us. So again, you could delete it if you want. We don't wanna do that, we actually wanna grade it. So we're gonna click it and it shows you which student actually completed it and the day that they completed it. And over here, you could remove the attachment or you could download it. We're gonna press this and it's gonna download the PDF and we could see exactly everything that they did, anything that they didn't complete, it would be all here. And at this point, we could literally just print it out and this could go in a file somewhere or they, they have a copy, we have a copy of the work that they've completed while they were in quarantine, or if the whole class was in quarantine, you have a list of all the assignments that they were supposed to do on the module. So they don't need the physical paper in front of them. If they have the book, that's fine, but um, this would be super helpful. So that's pretty much Eureka, Great Minds, in a nutshell. You can assign resources digitally, halfway digitally or complete print. If you need to print out the assignments, they're all here. Remember the format, which is grade, module, topic, lesson. Next, remember the easiest way to get to it is to have your own page within Clever and then just add it so that the students know they can come one place. There's a one-stop shop and they can get to all the shortcuts that they need to. It's easy as one, two, three. You go to add and add it as an app. When the students log in, make sure they go to the to do tab up at the top and it will have the assignment that they were supposed to be assigned for the day, whether they're at home or whether they're in front of you, they can get this assignment. So I hope you found this enjoyable and figured uh, it out pretty simple. Just play with it, tweak it on your own. It's pretty much um, Khan Academy, but 10 times better because the videos actually make sense. Um, I hope this was helpful and um, yeah. All right, talk to you soon.